main benefit of standards is just one sentence to that because we can have another talk on this topic. Um, the re reusability of application software that you don't create architecture um, over and over again. The same platform shall be used at least three lifetimes. Uh, if you start to do your platform from the scratch in the next project, you should ask yourself if you're, you are driving the right platform, from my perspective. Um, and the adaptive platform itself uh, is somehow from left to right created in a specific architecture, I would just point to it. When you start an architecture, you always need, of course, some kind of hardware, but we don't standardize this in Autosar. We rely on a so-called POSIX standard PSE51, that's a subset of it, a set of interfaces, which is also uh, compatible with a lot of POSIX um, supporting systems. You might know, now I need to <laughs> be careful with products to mention, but there are some operating systems that already pr provide a kind of um, criticality that you really need. Um, I think Linux is something we could think of, but we didn't have, we haven't seen uh, Linux running for, for ASIL related applications only. So it's usually built something on top. And then you ask yourself, how can I spawn a process? How can you, can you start a scheduler? You start going to the top, you create an execution management. Then you start to do a communication. You go to the left side, you pick a protocol you like, that's for us ZAMIP um, and for others maybe DDS. Um, you create a basic communication over Ethernet and then you have a base um, standard types you can really reuse from the standard and go to the right side where you have a plenty of automotive specific features. And this is also the benefit of Autosar, we have automotive software experts that are really inside of this ecosystem for years. So they know the ISO, related ISO for diagnostics, for time synchronization, it's IEEE. For, um, for the platform health management is of course the ISO 26262, where we have a kind of watchdog, platform health monitoring uh, possibilities. Uh, identity access management is something very important for security, when you need to grant access for a file system and then you go to the right, you need, of course, a kind of debugs, debug possibility for your data, which uh, we widely used is at the moment uh, DLT from, from open source communities reworked. And cryptographic uh, libraries are quite common. And I think this is one of the future sanitization purpose we have as a common challenge. So we need the companies from the security area um, like um, from the banking fields, from where IT um, is really longer already in place that we can trust them. So, and there we can gain the experience combining it with the security needs of, of uh, automotive. You maybe ask yourself, where is the difference between gray and blue? That's the frequently asked question on this slide. Um, <laughs> uh, we have the ARA um, adaptive application. ARA is, is the middleware and ARA.com is collecting all the services that are provided for the applications on top. You build here on top your application. It could be something for, for lane detection, for example, or uh, something easier for, um, for body domain use, use cases, which is already implemented on other platforms. And then um, you connect it to a service provided by ARA.com which could be from the area of diagnostics, network management, or update and configuration management, or you, you bind it to a kind of library that uh, can be used as an API here from the left side from, from another um, library from, for security or for, for safety, for example. So this is somehow the, the architecture, what you need to understand before setting up a platform. And this was really like in four or five minutes and I hope um, it's deeper to understand, I think, in, in reading out specification, in looking on the demonstrator, we provide from the standard also code 